Everybody remembers their first big bull hunt, and tonight we have four of them for you. Hey, I'm Adam Eakle, and thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we're out with Disabled Outdoorsmen of Utah. It's a national organization with a Utah chapter. We've got two hunters from out of state, two hunters from in state, and all of them are trying to get their first bull. We're up here on some private property. It's an any bull hunt, so it's not going to be an easy task, but we've got a lot of help behind these guys and gals. So our good friends at Vortex wanted to make sure everybody was well equipped. So D Utah is a nonprofit organization that basically gets people that have never had the experience to get out hunting disabled people the chance to see what we take for granted every single day. King's Camo also wanted to uh, hook you guys up. You gotta look good for these elk. So we have 400, we have Missy, she's from Utah. It makes me feel awesome that like, we have people in this world that can and will help us and that we have help. We have Josh from Tremont. I think it's pretty cool what they're doing. Getting kids outdoors and helping like disabled people get on hunts that they've wanted to do. Always wanted to hunt elk? Yeah. We have Cheyenne. Definitely big, been a dream hunt for sure. Look at this. We have Tate. So Tate's kind of a redo. He was disabled outdoorsman's very first hunt and it didn't go very well. I'm, I'm in heaven today, man. I'm in heaven. Yeah, my heart is full as they say. Do Utah is a chapter of a national organization called Disabled Outdoorsmen USA. It was founded by Weston Jenkins. Yeah, the impact goes beyond the hunters. It goes to the people that come out and volunteer, from the cooks to the people that are helping take the trash out to the people that are just helping guide. You know, it's really an experience I think everybody should get to partake in. Each hunter can teach you a different aspect in life that goes beyond hunting that you can take with you into your everyday life and it just makes you a better person. We're gonna split up and have some fun. Hopefully the elk will cooperate and we'll get some shooting tomorrow. This hunt wouldn't have been possible without Greg Pine of Big Mountain Outfitters who secured private lands for these hunters. Sorry, but uh, my wife and I have been really blessed through hunting, right? I mean, not only the, the hunting part of it, but the people we've met, the friends we've made, and so to be able to, you know, give back a little bit is well worth it. I mean, just to see their smiles tonight and know how excited they are for tomorrow is just, it's something special. Really, really, really excited. I'm so excited. I got no sleep. You guys have fun. Here go, yeah, let's go do it. Time. Time. We got some fields up here we're going to peek into and then we got one good kind in that we're going to drop into and uh, hopefully the bulls are screaming and we get into some action. Well, I think the cherry on top would be for them to harvest an animal, but I think the most important thing is for them to come out here, enjoy the camaraderie, be themselves and uh, have the most fun that they can have. Okay, let's put up there slow. We're following Cheyenne and Tate this morning, and our first stop is loaded with L. He's somewhere in here. These are the first elk and first bugles Cheyenne has ever seen or heard. Let's go. They're loud. You want a spike? I'm just kidding. The guys couldn't draw a big bull out of the trees, but this spike sure seemed interested. That was a trophy. What the heck, man? That was a trophy. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, I'll tell you what, come day four or five, he's in trouble. Would it be easier if you jumped on his back? We're still out with Cheyenne and Tate. The guys have taken them into a canyon that has been loaded with elk. Yeah, we had a canyon that we knew there were some bulls in, and uh, tiptoed into it this morning and they were going crazy. Maybe just stay, stay down to that bush like 50, 40, 40, 50 yards and then just get set up. Got set up and started calling. <coughs> we had three or four bulls that were in there screaming their head off. And then one bull picked back up and started getting active again so we got back on the calls and Like he said, zero to 90, and, and that's how it flipped. 
And um, I seen the bull probably 700, 600 yards coming down and lost him. And before I knew it, he was within 100 yards, you know, sneak mode, bugling. It was the most intense experience of my outdoor life by far. Dead bull. <laughs> Dead bull. <laughs> oh. Got it, buddy. Dude, you did it, buddy. You did it. Dead bull, brother. <laughs> I love my white tails bit. I've never had no white tail give me that emotion. <laughs> Thank you so much, Blake. Oh. <laughs> it's where we roll, Jay. It's how we roll. I have a disabled son myself, and yeah, being able to help him and help others, just that's what does it for me. I've taken a lot of people over the years, and some people just don't get excited at all. It doesn't matter if it's a state record moose or a giant bull elk or a monster mule deer. They just, they've done it so many times, the emotion's gone. And so this, the first time that they get it done, it's, it's pretty special as you witnessed. I told them this was my only other outdoor dream as a hunter was to come west and kill a bull elk. Did it, buddy. And they did it for me. This is our bull, guys. This is our bull. Awesome. Next. <laughs> I know, I'm so excited. I love every one of you guys. Thanks for all the long I love, calls. Oh, uh, love every one of you guys. The world needs to see this, man, what you guys are doing. The outdoor industry needs to see yeah, this. Buddy. Hold on. You're next, my girl. You're next, girl. Oh my gosh, you are next. They're gonna get it done for you, no doubt. Oh my God. <laughs> you gotta send that to him. I will. They are the perfect example of everything that's right in our world today. And I know we're being fed a lot of division right now, but if everyone in the world could just experience this or be a part of it or give their time like these amazing people and all of you have, our world could turn around in a year. Because love always always be tape. Thank you, big fella. Thank hey, you. Hey. Welcome to Utah, buddy. Thank you, brother. Thank you. What an animal. This has been a hunt that we've been trying to get going for four years. So it's really phenomenal to see everybody come together, and make it happen for Tate. It's been a dream come true for them, and uh, this is exactly what the organization's about. Yeah. People coming together, making dreams come true, and we're just getting started. There was two bulls right here last week that were right on this side hill. It's day two and we're following Utah teenagers Missy and Josh. Missy's hunt is being sponsored by UTV Utah, a nonprofit organization that fights to keep trail access open to OHV users. I'm a big hunter myself. Uh, side by sides are a passion. I've, I've hunted my whole life and I've got kids and uh, I'm, I have a big soft spot for kids. And so we do a lot of charity rides. We do a lot of events to raise money for kids. And it just, to see somebody like this get out and have the opportunity to, to shoot an elk, it's kind of a, both my passions combined into one. This morning we had a great game plan and we spotted some elk and the minute we, we saw a bull, it was, it was game on. Everybody's getting, getting her set up, getting, getting her out. And, and uh, elk were just kind of feeding, feeding all over the place. Let's put him right here. The guys set Josh and Missy in two openings. The idea is whoever has the best shot will take it. Okay, so you can see the bottom and all the way up. You know, we're gonna try to get him down and through these places right here. Right here's that old covered in mud right there by these trees. The first to respond to the calls is this wallowing bull, but he soon finds greener pastures on the other side of the canyon. 
The next bull, though, is coming fast and right into the clearing. He's coming, he's coming. Josh's view is obscured. I think they might shoot. And being the gentleman that he is, Josh decided to give Missy the first shot. Right on his shoulder. Okay. Sweet. Got him. Got him. Got him. You dropped him. You dropped him. I called her last night. She was like, <laughs> she's like, we're next. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. How do you explain that? That's a, it's bad, it's busy. It's awesome, it's awesome. Not many people realize how, how limited these these kids are. And it's not just kids, it's it's anybody that's disabled. That's crazy. That is a great bowl. How limited they are. And the fact that she was able to, to accomplish this today. I mean, holy cow, it's, it's, I'm, I'm still happier and heck about it. Little did we know that just a few canyons away, at about the same time Missy got her bull, Cheyenne had also shot a bull. How were you? Nervous. Were you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how'd you not? <laughs> yeah, Your that was first cool. Bull out. Yep. My goodness. Wow. I don't know if I can be able to. I'm sorry. Pretty heavy, Miss. That's awesome. Once they have that feeling that they can do it, it's, uh, it can change their whole life, which is exactly what our mission statement is. You know, empower individuals through the healing power of the outdoors, so. Two bulls down in what, mere minutes? Literally minutes, yeah. Oh, I wish you'd had yours on camera, <laughs> but at least it's all about the experience, right? Yep, absolutely. Yep. Missy, you have fun? Oh yeah. Great guys, huh? <laughs> They're amazing. Yeah. Your poor dad, he was pretty choked up there for a bit. <laughs> pretty fun to watch. Uh, these guys are amazing. This is what hunting really should be all about. It's not the size of the bull. It's not your Instagram post, how many you're gonna get. It's about giving back uh, to people that need a, a lifting hand to get out here and enjoy the outdoors. So we hope that this inspires you to do the same. Couldn't do, that, do this without the guides and especially the landowner and the outfitter that allowed people on this property, um, it just wouldn't happen. And no. it would be almost impossible in some of these units to, public units, to go and do what we did. Don't you think, Blake? Absolutely. Public land elk hunting is as hard as it gets. And uh, yeah, we're very fortunate to have the property and have this experience for sure. But I, I do want to challenge everybody watching this, uh, get involved, do something outside, and uh, let's get some more kids and people out doing what we love. Yeah. Passing it on. Passing it on. Hey, I'm Adam Eagle, KSL Outdoors. Remind you to get your family, your friends, make some memories on the mountain outdoors. We'll see you next weekend. Good night.